Hey, what's good? What's good? It's AJ1K, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bowser. Hurry! 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 We gon' blitz like we mad. I was too broke, now I'm having. Now I'm having. Pull up fast in the car. I be All right, so we got AJ1K off the porch with us today. What's good? What's good? My guy, what's good? I'm feeling great, man. How you feeling today, man? Man, I'm feeling real blessed. I'm real blessed to be here. I appreciate you, man, for real. No problem, bro. Why don't you introduce uh, who's sitting behind you on the porch? Um, behind about? me, I got my bro, Franchise. That's oh, my man. blood brother. I got my okay. other brother, this AE right here, Cut. It's part of Fast DNT. I got some other guys that, that ain't here, but you know, we deep, so. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. What else have you been doing here in Atlanta, man? You said man. you just had a show last night? Yeah, I had a show last night with Boosie. That's big bro. Okay. Yeah, we had a show at Chit Chat. We rocked it out for Zoe, though. Yeah, yeah, it was real, like, really, really. Okay. So Atlanta's been showing you some love since it's been out of here, huh? Yeah, man. Like, it's crazy because Atlanta, like, my top streaming. Oh, yeah. On my uh, analytics and all that. So uh, Atlanta show a lot of love. Like, every time I'm out here, like, from when I first linked, you know, with Bo Boots and Bad Eye, and then when I started coming out here. Okay. So it's been love for real. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, so let's take it back, though, man. You originally from Mississippi? Yeah, born and raised in Mississippi, in the country, oh, the Mississippi. You know, some of it's city parts, but yeah, country boy majority, you know. Okay. Yeah. What part of the state are you from? Uh, Jackson. Oh, okay. Jackson. Yeah, okay. you know. So you kind of had the city life there. Yeah, I, but I really be everywhere. Like, I was in the, you know, it's like little outskirts. You got McGee, Simpson County, all that, Pearl. So I really grew up everywhere though, you know, like mo moving around my mama, you know, she was on the go, you know, as far as moving us to different little cities, but majority of my family from Jackson and, okay. the, and Simpson County, yeah. So what was that like, kind of getting the city life and the country life and which one did you prefer? Man, I really, like, I prefer both, but like when I was in the country, I always be the nigga like uh, that wanted to go to the city, you know, like even <laughs> if I was in the country, like I'm, like y'all wanna ride out, so everybody, you know, ride with me. So I stayed on the go, like even when, um, before I moved to Texas, you know, with my brothers now, so. Okay. That's how it was, bro, just, I was on the go, you know, exploring everything, so. Yeah. Yeah. So how would you describe your childhood growing up? What, what were you into back then? Man, I was into a lot because I had a you know a single mother household. My um, parents split early. I say I was like five, six, you know. So it split. So I lived with my mama, you know, majority. R.P. Catherine Burgess, you know, she passed two years ago. So, um, but yeah, like I said, we grew up in a household of a single mother, you know. So my mama, she tried her best, you know, before her health failed, you know, to provide, but. You know, in the struggle like that, you know, a young, I only got one besides my brother, we got the same daddy, you feel me, but, and I got one other sister, so we had, we had to grow up exploring things, you know, so I was out there, like, it wasn't nothing, you know, doing towards my mother, but I had to get it, I had to find ways to, you feel me, do other things, because she, she her health, like I said, it failed unfortunately early so it made me stronger though I wasn't no foolish little young you know crazy out here but I did do bad things you know but I learned see I learned from my you know from my fuck up so um I say like I said I grew up rough but blessed though you feel me you always yeah. blessed to still be here you know so that's one thing I, I I did grow up rough bro and I tell that in my music you feel me so if you, my Cold Red album, you know, all that. So like, I, I tell it, so, and it's no bluff, you feel me? Like, I ain't trying to be the the hardest, you know, toughest, you know, but nah, I'm me. So like, that, that's what I deliver. So shit, that's what it is. Salute to you for that, man, yeah. Thanks, thanks. So when did you move out to Texas and what part of Texas did you move to? Uh, I moved out to East Texas, uh, what, two, what, two and a half? Three years ago. Uh, yeah, after I graduated high school, like my okay. brothers, like I wasn't doing music for real, but I started it. So they were, they was doing music, you know, they was doing their thing. So 
They were like, man, we all, you know, need to collab. Like, just, you need to come out here. So, my bro, like, bro, you need to come to Texas. You know, it's a bigger marketplace. You know, Jackson, you know, it's, it's, it's like a crab in the bucket. You know, even, you know, the smaller, you know, areas, you know. So, he wanted me to expand, you know. So, I went to Texas, bro. And we got a little heat, you feel me, started. Yeah. So, <laughs> Since then, though, it's been great, though, I fuck with Texas. East Texas, okay. Long, Longview. Okay. Longview. Yeah. So what's life like out there? Is it city life? Is it country life? Or? It's country, but we be everywhere. You know, we don't, we, just was, we don't really be in Longview like that. We be everywhere. But like I said, we be, I live in Vegas, you know, Longview, okay. Texas. I got a house everywhere. So like I said, we be on the go just trying to get it, so. But life out there is, um, like I say, I, I, I love Texas. You know, the environment, the people cool. You know, they accepted me. You know, my brothers are doing their thing. That's where they from, you know. So um, it's been great. We made a, a lot of impact in the community of East Texas, you feel me? So um, Fast and T, we got D Journey, Franchise, DJ K, Chi Hindi, um, Trilly, Mama Scott, that's my manager. Okay. You feel me? So um, we've been making a lot of, you know, noise locally. So we we always want to expand, though. We want to we we play chess instead of checkers. You feel me? So yeah. we 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 try to do moves that make sense. You feel me? Like, and that's not us, you know, saying we bigger than everybody. But you know, we 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 try to do things that make sense for musically, like mm -hmm. getting our business in order. You know, our names. You know, trademark all that royalties. You know, so that's that's where we at with it. You know, and we done been through a lot though. Like, so coming up, learning. You feel me? Is I done been scammed. You know, <laughs> as an independent artist. You know, but we not no more. You feel me? So we <laughs> not no more. So we 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 elevating at the same time. Bro. Yeah, like, for real. I feel that man. So what brought you out to Vegas? Was it music too, or? Yeah, music and I like I said, this go back to me being exploring. Like I, <laughs> if I get an opportunity, I'm like, yeah, like I'ma go. So I moved to Vegas and what's crazy, I started a blog in Vegas, one K T V and they showed that love. It like went viral overnight. Like on Facebook, I got hella followers and um I love the West Coast, you feel me? Cali right there by mm -hmm. Vegas and um so that that added to my career a little bit, you know, by me going out there networking and um, meeting people, studio, shooting videos, all that. So that's, that's what I did out there. Okay. Yeah. So is there much of a music scene out in Vegas right now? I didn't dig deep, deep into it, but I did meet some people. And like I said, it's me when I was in Vegas, I'd go down to LA, you feel me? Like it's three, okay. four hours away. Yeah. So. That's the scene I was on, but Vegas do got some nice artists out there, you know, that is working, but um, I didn't really tap, you know, deep into it. Like I said, I'm majority down south, that's where I'm from, so yeah. when I'm in Vegas, it's more of a relaxation, you know, so, and, um, but I'm still networking, though, you feel me? I feel yeah. that. Yeah, and going back to Jackson, man, how much did uh, Lonnie's death out there affect the music scene? Man, Lonnie Dell. It was crazy because everybody, you know, one thing I never seen was a bit Lonnie. Shout out to Lonnie, R.P. Lonnie, man. Uh, Lonnie was a, an individual that was, that I say not like me, but he was intelligent, bro. You feel me? And he wasn't, he wasn't on no, no shit that, that he, he didn't deserve that, you feel me? But that's how life is, but he did make an impact to the artists, you feel me, from Mississippi, you know, and Lonnie was doing his thing, you know, he um he most definitely was an inspiration, you feel me, to to the artists. At that time Lonnie was doing his thing. I wasn't even, you know, rapping oh, yeah. that seriously, you know, but um I still, you know, was a fan of music. I was a fan of you know so, but shout out to Lonnie man. He made a big impact. For Absolutely, yeah. So how'd you get linked in with uh Boozy man? Oh, um, it's crazy. Like I said, in um, what that nineteen and in, in the nineteen, I dropped the album called Cold Red, and it did numbers like on Facebook. And um, so we got a call, 
Cold Red, he was like, how quick can y'all get to Atlanta? We want to hear the album, you know? So, <laughs> and so he invited me to his mansion, you feel me? So um, at that time, Boosie was my, you know, growing up from the South, Boosie is yeah. the legend, you know? So um, that experience, bro, it, it's been a lot since then, you know? So um, how I got tied in, but it was from that, bro, my album. Oh yeah. Um, Cole Red, they went viral. He invited me to the crib, listened to it, and you know he he basically kind of co-signed me then. And you know ever since then he been inviting me to shows. Um, him and his team, you know, so um, it's been a lot of learning process from him. Shout out to Boosie by that man for real. Yeah. That's, that's big dog. <laughs> so what was that experience like being able to go to his house, play him your music? Man, man it was crazy because like. Like I said, Boosie was the legend to me, you know. So um, I was crazy. I wasn't even nervous. I was more ready than anything. I was prepared, you know, to let him hear. And the first thing he was like, he said, he was like, "Boy, you look like an artist." He was like, "Nigga, you look like an artist." When we pulled <laughs> up, so um, I was lit, man. And it was um, it was crazy because he his music is like a representation like you know of, of what i've been through you know a lot of people from the south so um and that's what my cold red album that's how he really felt it you feel me so to invite me down and um the experience was amazing bro like just because i wasn't no artist out here that's got a million views, you know, doing it. So he called me out to, you know, from a, I just put this album out and what's crazy, I didn't have none of my business in order. I ain't have no, my name, no royalties running in. I just dropped it, dude, this stroke kid, you know, <laughs> yeah. just raw. So, um, so that's what it was. We, I had to go back after that and learn the game a little more, you feel me, mm -hmm. apply. Like, all right, let me let me get my business in order so I can earn royalty, so I can, you know, do this right. And that's what one thing he taught me, you know, how to get right. You feel yeah. like, get right. So uh, it was a lot of, you know, people when I went back home, did you sign the booth? Did you sign? So, you know, a lot of people. So it was a lot of love, bro, for real. And you guys got a single that's about to drop, right? Yeah, we got Fine Girl. He's working on it. Um, he putting them verse on it, so we got Okay. They're gonna be dropping real soon. We're gonna shoot a video. That's gonna be big right there. Yeah, man. it's gonna be nice, real nice. Yep. It's gonna it's gonna be big for sure. And CMG also reached out to you, is that right? Yeah, I had a um reach out from CMG. What the hell? How long ago that? That was like not so long ago. Not long ago, like okay. for real. Um yeah, I had a I did a blues single <laughs> as a as an artist, you know, I'm I I'm kind of creative, you know, I, I tap into different things, but I made a blues record and it was, um, it was submitted through my guy, Carlos Brown. I don't know, he from, he and yeah. you know, Carlos, yeah. Mm -hmm. Carlos, that's my guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, good peoples right there. Yeah, good, real good people. So uh, he submitted that and they liked it. Um, b Mim, CMG. Okay. Yeah, he, he liked it, the record, so he uh, wanted me to go shoot the video for it and uh, just, you know, get it right, you know, so I did and I shot the video. It, it turned out well, but um, we didn't go further on business, you know, due to life, I guess. You know, I ain't gonna speak too much, you know, but mm -hmm. that was a great opportunity, you know. I was excited for the reach out. I was excited to go do these things, you know, and um, like I say, I'm I'm still going from that. You know, that's an experience, and uh, it didn't turn into nothing. But my single still out. Place called Home Blues. It's a okay. blues single. Yeah, it's family reunion type vibe, and everybody love it. The kids love it. I still get inboxes every day. Like people jamming to it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I love it, man. Like for real, that was that was great though. Shout out to CMG for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just dropped this video, Say No More, yesterday on World Star. I ain't gonna say no more. I, yeah, I just dropped it yesterday, World Star 22K, I think is it right now. So um, I'm hoping to get a lot of momentum from that, you know, because yeah. it's doing great right now. So um, 
Yeah, we just dropped that yesterday. So, and I'm working. Okay. <laughs> I'm working for real. How's the feedback been so far? Because I know the commenters on World Star can be pretty brutal, man. <laughs> I say the website that's on the website on World Star. They 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 brutal, up. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> on YouTube, if you actually go to YouTube on my site no more. I got majority great comments. Okay, so, yeah. yeah, we that's lit. Like, that's what that's a blessing, you know, to get good feedback. Of course, that's what we do it for, you know, for the fans, potential fans, and that's that's what I do it for the game, new listeners and all that. For Absolutely, that. yeah. All right, you got um this song, hot shit, man. That shit went crazy too. Yeah, hot shit, hot shit. Uh, and what's crazy, I ain't even shot that video because I'm trying to think of. <laughs> like, do I want to be on fire? Or something? <laughs> so that's why. I, uh, but that single did well. Like, yeah, like over three hundred thousand. Yeah, right? like for real. Like, and the streaming is is tremendous. Like I said, uh, I'm I'm more so being more in getting in position as an independent artist. You know, it's sometimes it's hard. Everybody know, you know, to. Uh, do things, you know, shoot video, all that stuff costs, you know, and we've been blessed, you know, to get in position now, you know. Uh, shout out, we have a family company. Shout out to Mama Scott, that's my manager. Fast financial firm, you know, so we tapping into different areas, you know, to create income, to be able to do what we gotta do at a level, you know, so, cause when the big labels, you know, we, we assign something with them, but it's, it's more so about being in position in this game, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. More so of the talent because I know I put my talents into my music, you feel me? So, and sometimes that's that's not that's not all they care about, you feel me? Oh, it's yeah. more so than much talent. more too. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? And 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 we'll get discouraged, you know, every day as a as an independent artist, you gonna man, dang, I ain't got you know, I ain't. I ain't doing nothing but not now. Nah, like we we gonna be lit now. Like we gonna be content. We gonna drop this music. We gonna be happy. Like if if you mess with it, you mess with it. But we gonna put it out there, and we gonna be happy with our life. You feel me? So that's we can't we can't put out great music if we ain't happy. You feel me? So um, I ain't gonna say that because I was mad during Cold Red, <laughs> and I and that was sometimes that brings out yeah, the best yeah. music in you, though. Yeah, that I ain't gonna say like, that. Man, but, I need uh, a van. Let me get yeah, this off my know, chest. Yeah, right, right. But uh, yeah, but like I said, we we get we in a great position, man, for real. Yeah. So Code Red too. Yeah, on the way. Yeah, and I had to, you know, to make a, not make another mistake. I'm um of the business side, you know, from and that's why I'm taking my time, you know, with the production, you know, with getting the videos, with getting the promotion ready, you know, all that. So um it's coming. Okay. Yeah, it's coming and it's gonna be big too. Yeah. For real. How do you think it's gonna compare it to the first one? See that's the thing, like the first one was so raw, like, you know, a lot of people appreciate it. I don't want to flop it too, you know, like <laughs> you uh, that second that. one wasn't, you know. You can't do <laughs> that. That's good, yeah, but um, it's more definitely going to be the same. Like as far as me, you know, me, they going to get me, and but it's going to be better as far as, all right, AJ, to the people who've been listening to me and the ones that going to listen in the future, it can catch them as well as please the ones that already been fucking with me, you know, so. It's gonna be that vibe, of course, from from me, and I'm I'm gonna push it. You feel me? So for real. I feel that. Uh, any other features that's gonna be on there? We take it the song with Boozy will probably be. Oh uh, yeah, I know that one's gonna be on there for sure. Uh, and like I said, while I'm working on it, and I'm gonna tap into probably some more features, but right now I, I don't see um, no features because besides that one, you know, but. You never know. So, like I said, the features gotta make sense. You know, a lot of yeah. a lot of these features don't be making sense. You know, cause <laughs> you get them from the artists. You know, they don't, it don't make sense as far as the getting you traction. But um, if it makes sense, more definitely. I mean, like I said, we into chess moves. So if it makes sense to me, I'm gonna do it. So, um, but right now, I don't see no features. Okay. Besides that, <laughs> For, I feel that. Yeah. So what type of vibes are going to be on this project and who are some of the producers you think that are going to be um, making? 
Most definitely, we got a um, producer on the team, say, like, say Look Out Trilly. He gonna be behind some of the production. Um, and Sub, Sub Derb Dolo, that's who I mess with. Shout out to him, he on that Say No More. Okay. Um, yeah, and um, Capacho, he produced one of my science guy songs. That was a big song too. Yeah, that was a nice, um, Nice little song too, and uh, yeah, that's majority who's gonna be behind my production. But uh, the production on the first album was shout out to Drum Dummy, like you know, a yeah. lot of people use his beats on mm -hmm. YouTube, so that was that's what really what I was doing. So, and not saying I'm not gonna I'm not going that route again, you know, because due to we leveling up, you know. But that was that's my vibe though. If I can link with Drum Dummy right now, like I. We'll create some some nice stuff for real. For yeah. Real. yeah, I feel that. What else you working on? What else is coming up for 2021 for you, AJ? Uh, 2021, bro, it's about, like I said, to me, elevation. You feel me? As an artist, 2021, it's about elevation and it's about power moves. You know, it's about creating good content. You know, being creative at all times and and being more intact with, like I said, myself in the world, you know, like being positive, giving out good energy, you know. So 2021, like I said, is about elevation. And, and that's what we finna do, elevate, bro. <laughs> yeah. What's some of your goals for uh, the rest of the year or the next two years? Um, my goal right now, and I told everybody, I'm trying to hit a million views. Like, <laughs> I know it's like, uh, I, I done did good, like, you know, we done did Facebook views, we done did 100Ks and stuff, you know, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to hit that for the first time. We done did great, but I'm trying to get over a million, you know, that's my little goal, you know, so, um, I'm gonna get, like, you feel me? Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, and, you know, also my goal is to, is to, to get on and change lives, you know? So that's what we trying to do for real. I feel that. All right, AJ, any last words, any shout outs before we wrap it up, man? Man, shout out to everybody. Shout out to my mama, R.P. Catherine Burgess. Um, shout out to the whole gang, Fast TNT. Like I said, I got my brother, friend Ty with me, AE, D Journey, Chi Hendy, DJ K, Look out, Trilly, Mama Skylar Manager, T Manly in the building. That's our cameraman. Man, we got a lot of people. Shout out to the whole East Texas, Mississippi, Vegas, West Coast. Y'all know what it is, man, for real. Hey, we gon' blitz like we madden. I was too broke, now I'm having. Pull up fast in the car. I be forgetting I'm ashy.